not least, I got to give y'all some Mountain West. Oh, yeah, West. you got to drop some Mountain West, man. Come on. That's where you do it the best, brother. Man, I, I, last week wasn't the greatest week in Mountain West for me. Uh, some teams came out and just showed a whole nother color, especially uh, Nevada, um, uh, Boise State. I, I didn't think Boise State would do as good as they did last week. Um, but um, impressive enough, the San Jose team, State team kind of kind of leads the pack and being one of the best teams. You know, I already think a lot about the coach right there. I think he's a great coach. And he's going up against uh, Tepper, who I said early in the season, I guess it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to work. I thought it would just be a little effect. But Fresno State is now one in four. And, um, you know, Jeff Tepper coming over to take over for Kalen DeBoer, um, you know, coming back to a school can always be an issue. But who seamlessly takes over somebody else's teams and just take them right to success? You have to be a, a real great to seamlessly come in on a squad that that fell short last year, as a matter of fact, and just come in and, and lead them back to the promised land. Um, lost a, quite a bit of athletes in, in it as well. Not working out for Jeff Teffer at uh, Fresno State. And this uh, backup quarterback, Fife, that they put in there, he just can't do anything straight. Uh, zero touchdowns with um, four interceptions is what he's at. So he's still feeling his way through there. So he's probably the only thing that could probably stop the San Jose State team from winning. But this is a this is actually a rivalry game. The Battle of the Valley right here has a trophy and everything. San Jose State's reached out and beat Fresno State plenty of times. So there's no one-sided show right here. And Brenner's been doing really good. I mean, with his record, he's um, 2-0 and in the conference, 4-1 and overall. He looks like he's leading the Mountain West again. Could go in for his second Mountain West title at the at the rate that they're going. So if he gets these guys gassed up, they have a really solid defense. They got Cadero that transferred over from Hawaii. He's doing really good at the quarterback. He started off slow, but he's developed into the guy that we know him to be. He's uh, ran the ball on the ground 60 times for 186 yards and six CDs. He's thrown for six TDs, and he has zero interception. So Cordero's doing great over here at San Jose State. Um, this is a rival game. I do expect uh, uh, Fresno State to resist at, at that, but at some point I think uh, San Diego State is just a little more mature, a lot more stronger, a lot together. Uh, Going to take them to the bridge this year, and uh, they should cover that, that, that spread right there. But also – I like the under a lot in this game as well because of San Jose's tight defense. Although Fresno's, a, 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 you know, they can throw pretty well. We thought they could run with Mims, but Mims ain't, ain't doing much right now. So San Jose should uh, slow them down a lot, pretty much force them to pass. And at the passing rate, San Jose State is allowing teams 21 pass attempts for 127 yards a game. So the secondary is a lockdown. In college football, you find the secondaries that's locked down, that's good money right there. So, the you know, despite who they played or, you know, to this point or whatever, they're only allowing 127 yards. They're only allowing 12 points a game or 13 points a game. And uh, they're just doing great. They could do a little better on turnovers, though. They only have six interceptions for the year and nine sacks. So not much pressure. Uh, this five guy, he's just doing bad. That should allow, you know, they should win in the trenches in this in this game. And San Jose State should win this game. And this one stays under the total as well. Yeah, these these are I remember these classic games from years gone by, always a defensive type of game with these guys. Uh, but uh hey, like you said, San Jose is in lockdown mode right now. Four and one, you know, straight up in ATS. One and four to the unders, you know, four four games to the unders, and and uh, I mean, just I'm not the Mountain West expert, you are, but I just know this. I know Fresno's got some struggles right now, and uh, San Jose's. I think they they, they have they're playing with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder because of uh, last year. I mean, we know Air Force was probably the uh, the better team, and then Utah State snuck up there and bit everybody, you know, but. This is a team that's on a mission, it looks like right now, and they're rolling, you know, just so what do you think about the number? Uh I think the numbers kind of crept up though. You think they covered that number by margin, or you think it's uh yeah, it's gonna be a close one. 
No, I think I think this one can actually get away, even though, you know, in rival games, you know, you kind of usually want to take the points. But I don't know. I think Fresno State is having a bad year that might even go worse. I yeah. mean, Kalen DeBoer is doing good up there at Washington. I mean, I'm sure some of these players are going to try to slip out and get up there. I mean, some of, you know, seven weeks in the season, some of these kids is turning their stuff in and thinking about their options. You know, if you landed at Fresno State, you probably had a good chance to go to a lot of schools right here in California. So I don't know um, where they're going to go with that one. Um, 